sort of a bad relationship with tires, meaning I get a lot of flat tires with BMX bikes, mountain bikes, dirt bikes, vehicles, um, heavy equipment, you name it. I hop in it, the tire goes flat. So with that being said, most of my days look like this. Well, you ready for another tire change? Because I sure know I am. <laughs> I'm talking to my bike again. Starting today, I'm going to build a better relationship with tires. I'm going to try to learn no footers on this tabletop right here. I know it sounds pretty simple, but I never really have tried them. And it is the first progression to just get comfortable taking your feet off the pegs, so we'll see what happens. Today I'm going to talk about why I bought a two-stroke and why I ride a two-stroke. So, when I started riding, it was just before two-strokes started to make a comeback. And so I thought there was only three sizes of big bikes. A 125 two-stroke, a 250 four-stroke, and a 450 four-stroke. And then one day my friend said something about a 250 two-stroke and I was like, what? I didn't know that was a thing. So I looked into it and sure enough, 250 two-stroke. And for some reason I thought, man, that is so cool. So then I started to pay a little bit closer attention to two strokes. Whenever we'd go out riding and I would see a lot of people riding a four stroke. Then every once in a while I'd see one guy riding a two stroke and I just thought, man, that's so cool. It's just, you know, different. So eventually I outgrew the bike that I was riding, which was a Honda CRF 150. It's basically an 85, but a four stroke engine. So I thought, all right, I need to get a big bike. What should I get? So I started looking into them. And these are the reasons why I went with a 252 stroke. The first one being is it was light because I was still pretty small at the time. And the idea of having a bike that was a lot more light, not just in weight, but the way the engine works, seemed really good and helpful. The second reason is it was quite a bit cheaper by like maybe a thousand to a couple thousand. But the third reason was it was easier and cheaper to work on. So I wanted to start learning how to work on my own bikes. And a two stroke is just so much more simple to work on. So I was like, oh, that'd be perfect for me to learn. And then maybe one day I'll move up to working on four strokes. The fourth reason, and this is why I got a 252 stroke, which is kind of a little bit more of a wild bike, is I thought it would be cool as a challenge to try and master a 250 two stroke dirt bike because one, they're light, but they have a ton of power. 
so you got that aspect of trying to you know tame it and they also have a pretty strong power band and I remember one day watching a video of someone saying that you know you can't just ride a 252 stroke you have to really be in tune with your riding and your bike in order to make the whole thing work and I thought that was really cool I thought it was a challenge that I wanted to try out so that already added up four reasons as to why I wanted to buy a 252 stroke so the fifth reason was not not so serious but made a big difference in why I made the decision because one I thought they smelled really cool two I thought they sounded really cool and three I thought they looked really cool so those are the reasons why I decided to get a 252 stroke now I'm not saying that you need to buy a 252 stroke and I'm not saying that these are the absolute you know pros and cons of when it comes to buying a dirt bike this is literally just the reasons of why I chose to buy a 252 stroke when I was still a little bit new to riding I've been teaching Nicole how to jump and she's been doing really good and having a lot of fun with it so let's see how she's doing yeah that was really good thank you